Hey guys, today is the 15th of July, 2014, and today I wanted to make a video, um, because I've been getting this question a lot lately, both from people in real life, like, actual world, not internet land, and, um, people on Tumblr, so I thought I would make a video, um, about, do I want to take hormones? Um, this is a really difficult topic because I have a lot of feelings surrounding this and it's a bit of a, um, a personally conflicting issue but I want to give it a go. <laughs> um, so the really short answer is yeah, I would love to have the effects of the testosterone. Um, the biggest dysphoria I have surrounding my body um, in terms of gender is my chest and my voice. Um, I, as most of you will know, I'm having top surgery um, in November this year. So like three months, three weeks, mm, three days from now, um, which is amazing. And that is kind of my number one priority at the moment, but also I really struggle with this. Um, if you look at some of my first videos, my voice is a lot higher. I've done a lot of work to try to lower it, but it's still like... <laughs> I, I don't think there was, there's going to be many ways to um, change my voice at the same surgery from taking tea. Um, so yeah, the short answer is yes. I would really like the effects of testosterone in my body. Um, but the long answer to do I want to take hormones is yes, but not yet because of A, B, C, and D. Um, so the reasons that I'm not ready to take it yet are complicated, um, but the, the, the most simple one really is money. I'm working my ass off at the moment to pay for top surgery. Um, I'm working like a lot of doubles, long days, saving every spare cent I have is going towards the surgery. Um, yeah, we all know this, it's not cheap. Um, and I don't have a particularly high paying job, so I'm, I'm definitely, um, definitely working hard for this. And it's worth it. I don't, I don't regret it at all. I know that I'm extremely privileged to be booked in, to be having it. Um, I have no regrets whatsoever about it. But it is a lot of work. So at the moment, I don't have extra money to go to gender therapy, which is what I would have to do in order to get a lot of the tea. Um, so after November, I guess I will have a lot more free time and free finances to look into that more. Um, and it's definitely something that I want to discuss more with a gender therapist and also with my family because I really did a lot of the work towards top surgery in my own head by myself and was quite uh, secretive about it. And this is because I wasn't out to everybody and I'm still not out to everybody. And I need to do that as well. I need to sort of be up to every single person in every element of my life before I go on hormones out of respect, out of urgency, <laughs> so that I just don't change one day and people have no idea what's going on because I know that that could be um, upsetting, um, confusing. So yeah, money, life, I need to be in a... Um, I'm uh, out. I need to be more out. I need to be completely out before I start taking hormones. Um, and I need to be more financially stable. Um, and another reason I don't want to take, why well, do, but why I'm not on hormones yet, is that for me it was a lot about prioritizing um, the most distress and discomfort I have around my chest. And that is something that I needed a need done now. Like I needed done yesterday. I needed done last year. This 
before I feel like whilst I have a little dysphoria surrounding other aspects, I can cope on a day-to-day -day basis, basis with them still. It's not as um, distressing as the self-surgery stuff. Um, yeah, so I guess that's kind of my thoughts on tea. Long term, I think that is a part that I will... I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like there's a very likely possibility that that is the, um, the path that I will head down. But I want to be very sure I'm going to talk about fully with the gender therapist first, and with my family, and be more out <laughs> ever I need to be. 100% out before doing it. Yeah, so if anyone has any questions surrounding it, just feel free to um, hit me on Tumblr or here. Um, yeah. I feel like this was not maybe necessarily the most coherent video, it's just a topic that I'm, I'm still kind of processing in my own mind. Um, but yeah. I, I noticed recently a lot, um, thinking more and more about tea that I like, because I watch so many guys online here and, um, watch, it's kind of the lovely thing about YouTube, you just watch so many people kind of grow and develop into these really beautiful guys, people, and I am, um, there's a, an element of me that is immensely proud happy for people watching them grow into the people they want to become and there's also this kind of um i guess it's a jealousy um or an envy of wanting that so desperately for myself as well um wanting the, the deeper voice and the ability to grow facial hair because i'm peach clean <laughs> and just the ability to be more ambiguous with my gender in public. I mean, I still get read as a, as a lesbian on a, day, on a daily basis. And I feel like my sexuality is changing so rapidly with the way I think about gender and people that I sort of gone from identifying really with that lesbian um, label to feeling much more pansexual um, and realizing that gender is less important in terms of who I'm attracted to than people. So sometimes it can be um, frustrating to be read predominantly as a lesbian because I don't necessarily identify with that label anymore. Although there are elements of me that do. I guess it's complicated. Um, anyway, it's getting long as usual. So yeah, if anyone has anything else they want me to talk about, or message me, do the things with the stuff. Um, I hope everyone's really good. Um, I love you all very much. Um, and I will talk to you soon. Another thing I'm thinking of doing is doing more regular vlogs. So, like, vlogging about just more general stuff. Because I find this really useful as a way to talk things out. Um, I don't know. Let me know if that would be something you would be interested in. Because clearly I do not want to annoy everybody by um, talking a lot, which is what I'm doing right now. So I love you all. Goodbye. Have a nice Tuesday.